hey guys oh, welcome back again so today i am making the second part of the bolt of bluetooth wireless headset which i had bought from mintra it's a mintra exclusive product as i said in my previous video so i have a, got a lot of questions around this product and just wanted to cover up a cover these questions in my uh, this second part of the video so let's start so starting with the packaging so packaging was just okay uh, yeah, i would have expected some uh, kind of hard case uh, which you get with many other uh, headset but this did not have any uh, kind of hard case it was just a chewed pouch uh, which may not uh, last for long coming to the build quality again the build quality is uh, pretty average with the rubberized finishing it had so that's again uh, uh, it did not have any uh, metallic buttons or something like that so it is again a pretty average uh, uh, rubberized coating finish if, if you can see this the third part is the wires though again the wires uh, what i saw it uh, was on a thinner side so less amount of metal inside generally the metal is copper so it's uh, not much of a copper is present inside the wire so there would be some kind of resistance during the signal conductivity as you may be knowing the more more the quantity of copper inside the wires the good good is the sound conductivity so you get a better sound quality now coming to the battery backup so in the box they are printed like around four to five hours uh, of uh, uh, battery backup uh, while using the headset but when i use this for around uh, four or five days i was getting um, roughly around one hour of uh, uh, battery backup so i'm not sure uh, which uh, under which conditions it was tested it has been printed like uh, four to five hours of uh, backup now coming to the sound quality again sound quality as i told you it's just okay it's not a very good it's not very bad but somebody asked me about uh, bass and uh, treble so it's the treble is kind of in the higher side bass is in the lower side so as i said if you are a kind of music buff you may just not uh, like this uh, uh, device very much but again it's not bad at all uh, for uh, taking calls and uh, listening to some other documentaries now coming to the handling part so when you try to use this product how it fits into the air so uh, when i tried to use it uh, it was like not fitting it uh, snugly so i mean if you are walking running or gymming so it might just get out so you may just need to keep ref re fixing it in your ear every time so that is again a kind of a negative i would say during the handling also like during connectivity it uh, does give uh, uh, indication with sound it, the, the indication would be in the um, indica indicator lights are also there and you get an audio uh, voice inside the uh, through the headphones that it has been connected and you can start using the device so that's a pretty nice feature to have uh, this is what i had to say uh, and uh, i hope i have answered uh, all your questions if you still have any questions around this, I am definitely happy to answer all these questions. But one more thing, yeah, the price value. So <clears throat> a lot of questions uh, have come, come around. Is it worth the price of around 1100 or around 1200? They are giving around 80% discounts. So I would say that price is a very catchy thing for this. It's, uh, this price, I mean, it's almost half of the price you are getting for other bluetooth headsets available in the market so price wise it's a very very good offer but again there is a compromise there if you are okay with the compromise and a little build quality and a little uh, the audio quality it's it's not a bad deal at all